Hello everyone. Today I'm going to do a tutorial going over the Perform Z folders on the Spectralis 2. If you don't know much about the Perform Z folders, basically what it does is allows you to have a whole new set of 32 songs with 32 tracks in, or patterns within each song. Uh, on the Spectralis 1 and Spectralis 2 in the older OS versions, uh, you had access to 32 songs and 32 patterns within each. But now with this uh, update in version 1.50, you are able to create new folders on the root drive that are called Perform Z folders that allow you to have 32 songs and 32 patterns within each of those. So what I'll do is go through how to set that up and uh, switch between the different uh, Perform Z folders so that you can set this up on your Spectralis 2 as well. So the first thing you're going to do is plug in uh, this side of the USB to your Spectralis 2. And then of course you'll take this end and plug it into your computer. If everything goes as planned, you'll see that it says USB mode active and unplug USB cable for normal operation. Now, depending on the computer you have, uh, will determine what you'll see next. But on your computer, you should uh, have something pop up. On my computer, uh, since it's a Mac, uh, it says SPC underscore flash. Now, that's what I will click on to uh, open the RIP folder. Typically what you'll see is uh, a list of songs and some of the samples you have. Now, uh, I've already added Perform Z folders, but here's the basically what you'll do is you'll click um, and insert a new folder and you'll name it, uh, you'll rename it to uh, Perform Z dot 0, 0, and then the number. Now you can have up to, I believe, 255. So I have already set up up to 5. So the next one in order will be 0 .006. So I'll hit enter, and I will use 0 .006. So now I have six folders. Now let me show you what's in one of my folders. Perform Z uh, folder 1 has a lot of samples and it also has songs in there. Has uh, songs 1 through 32. And in this folder you'll see all these samples. These samples will be the only ones available in that Perform Z folder. So when you go to have a live set you would put all of your samples and uh, that correspond with those songs in this Perform Z folder. Now remember, the last thing you'll want to do is uh, uh, dismount your hard drive so that it doesn't cause any problems. So I just did that on mine. And once you unplug the USB from your computer, it should go outside of song mode. At this point, we'll need to reset the Spectralis. So I turn mine off and let it go for about 10 seconds being off before I turn it back on. And about 10 seconds has passed, so I will turn it back on and it will go through its normal loading screen. At this point, I will show you how to uh, get into the new Perform Z folder so that you can start working on new tracks. Now, I didn't put any samples in this uh, Perform Z folder, so you won't see anything uh, in there and you'll have to add those yourself and hopefully you'll be able to find those samples within the Perform Z folder as you normally would in your root drive which uh, your Spectralis should have come with. So let's go over quickly how to get into those new Perform Z folders. 
So to get into those old other uh, the perform Z folder that we just set up, you hold shift and memory. It says memory and performance management. Right now I'm on my perform Z folder five. So what we'll do is go to six and then press the button and we're over to perform Z folder number six. Now there were no samples to be loaded. Let me show you what happens when we go to a perform Z folder with samples. So shift memory and we'll go to perform Z folder one. Now you can see all of the different uh, samples are loading and this might take a few minutes or uh, it loaded pretty quickly. Normally I have my samples to load uh, when it gets to the song that I choose rather than having them load all at once. And that's the difference between fixed and dynamic loading, but that would have to be a different topic. Uh, so anyway, uh, at this point you should be able to access different Perform Z folders, or access them and load the different songs within them, and set up new Perform Z folders. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Uh, just s send me a message uh, privately or on the page on YouTube, and I will get back to you as fast as I can. Thank you. Hope this helped.